Well, Sarah Palin last week said that President Obama should be boycotting Copenhagen. George Stephanopoulos put that question to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor of California, this morning on Good Morning America. Take a look. It's no excuse at all to just boycott, uh, uh, you know, Copenhagen just because we first have to rebuild the economy. I think that there are people that just don't believe in uh, fixing uh, and, and, and working on the environment. They don't believe there is such a thing as global warming. They're still living in a stone age, which is okay. You need people like that too. But the bottom line is we got to move forward in this. Now, there you have it, the Stone Age. We need the people governor. like that, too. We, exactly, <laughs> sure. It's a big tent, I suppose. Uh, we're joined now from Capitol Hill by Congresswoman Yvette Clark, a Democrat uh, of New York, uh, and a, a lead co-sponsor on the new immigration bill that's going to be dropping uh, this afternoon in the House of Representatives. And I want to start with immigration, because I know this is a bill that you've been working on, and you're gonna, we're going to see a draft today. How important is it to you, as a supporter of comprehensive immigration reform, to see real movement on this uh, before the midterm elections? I think it, it's critical. Uh, for too long in America, uh, we've had those amongst us who are just back in the shadows, unable to fully exercise their American dream. Uh, I think that we've reached a point, a critical point, of understanding how important it is to integrate these folks into our nation as quickly as possible, have them pay a civil penalty, but have them pursue that dream for the security and prosperity of our nation. Congresswoman, I, I want to understand where you think this sort of fits in to all the other major priorities that are out there. Uh, Health care is not yet done and, and is, uh, uh, may not get done this year. That may get bumped to next year. Uh, financial regulatory reform, which I realize is done in the House, but still has got Senate and conference to go to. That's a major priority. Uh, how, how much longer here do we have? Uh, energy is coming up. That's going to be a bigger priority for the White House. Can immigration really fit on that plate? Do you have a sense from the Obama administration they're willing to put the muscle behind it for a 2010 passage? It's our, it's our hope. I mean, they have certainly articulated their support for comprehensive immigration reform, both President Obama and Secretary Napolitano. And, uh, you know, American people expect that the United States House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate, the Congress, can multitask can attack and address all of the issues that are impacting on their lives. And that's what we're here to do. Is it a political winner for Democrats? I know there's some in the White House, including Rahm Emanuel, who said in the past that uh, they, they don't really, they don't see the politics as a winner for them. It's a, it's a, it's a winner for the American people. Uh, you know, we have gotten to a point where uh, we have accepted a status quo that is totally untenable. Bringing our folks, bringing people who are here out of the shadows into an immigration system that works yields dividends for this nation. What, and what do you say to your fellow Democrats in the House, uh, specifically the 49 of whom sit in districts won by John McCain last year? Uh, so they're in these Republican-leaning districts where the politics of this is very different um, from where it is in Brooklyn, New York, where they see a need for an immigration reform perhaps uh, more acutely than in these other 49 districts. What do you say to them? Well, uh, I say to them that uh, Senator McCain was for immigration reform. I mean, this is not a cut and dry Republican versus Although he versus kind of Democrat. backed off that during his presidential campaign, well, right? Well, ultimately, we know that he was for immigration <laughs> reform, a major author of a previous bill. And so, you know, we're going to have to appeal to members one by one, not based on political ideology, but based on what is fear and what is just and how we're going to take our nation into the 21st century. Congressman, what do you make of, uh, on health care, what do you make of these negotiations that are going on right now in the Senate? It looks like there'll be no public option and no Medicare buy-in either. Uh, what, what's, your, what's your take on how that's going to be received in the House? Well, uh, you know, I'm going to have to cross that bridge when I get to it because I'm not completely uh, uh, sure of exactly what it is that they're going to be passing at the end of the day. They've been going back and forth so much with this bill on, on, on setting priorities and goals, much of which does not resemble in any way, shape, or form anything that we have discussed here in the House of Representatives and, and have created through our bill. So I'm going to have to cross, cross that bridge when I get to it. But it's my hope that, you know, they will do right by the American people, that we know that we need health care reform and we need it now, and that they will do what needs to be done to make sure that we have a bill that we can all stand behind and say we've done a good 
thing for the American people. Congresswoman, it's December 15th, as far as I can tell by looking at yes. my calendar. I, where, where are we going to get to that bridge? I mean, this was supposed to be done this year. How, don't you two sides need to come together pretty you know, darn if, quickly? If, if, if I had that answer, I think that, uh, you know, I would be like the ultimate guru <laughs> on Hill politics. You know, I'm waiting with bated breath, just as all of the American people are. And like I said, my hope and my encouragement is that our senators will do right by the American people and provide a health care reform bill that we can come together on, both the Senate and the House, and say we've done a good thing for the American people. All right. Our ultimate guru of the afternoon, Congresswoman <laughs> Yvette Clark, thanks for being with us. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, Congresswoman. Uh, I, honestly, I don't see how, uh, how she gets to that bridge uh, before January. I also don't see how they could fit immigration in before next November. That does it for this edition of Top Line. Be sure to click us on again tomorrow. And it's Twitter.com slash The Note. Let the conversation continue. ABC News Now. Good to know.